give you a better view of the knot I'm tying, I'm going to demonstrate in Paramax. First thing I'm going to do is tie a simple overhand knot at the very end of my rope. And I'll pull it tight so I don't have much excess at the end. Then I'll give myself enough length to form a loop and I'll tie another overhand knot. From here I'll take the end and I'll place it right back through the overhand knot. Now this is tied so that if I kept on pulling I would just create another knot as opposed to going through the other end and if I kept on pulling the knot would slip out. Let's get back to where we were. There we go. And now this is where the magic happens. I'll clamp down on my free end there and it's time to form the 90 degree bend on my loop and to do that I'm going to twist the plating so it binds up and folds over. So here we go, I'm going to twist clockwise twisting, it starts to turn the other way and there it is, okay? From here I can convince it a little bit there we go. Now all I need to do is take my standing end and twist in a half hitch. I'm going to throw this right on top and I'm going to capture the overhand knot at the very end. And that's just so it doesn't slip out once I start pulling on my rope. Just adjust everything up. There we go. Now I can take this and slip it through or under whatever I need to retrieve. For the toggle side, I'm going to roll the rope towards me once, roll it towards me twice, and I've created a little window here. I want to pull the standing end out and then pull it tight. Then I'm going to take this end here, thread it through the loop I just created, and then pull the standing end to collapse the loop right on top. This creates our trefoil knot. It's also known as uh, Ashley stopper or oyster ranch stopper knot. But if you're doing this from any distance, it may be difficult to line these up as you're bobbing the ropes around. So we need a guide, just like you'd see on a fishing pole. Now typically, when you tie a loop into a rope, you end up with something that is parallel with your rope. Now we don't want that because it's not going to help guide our toggle along. We want this to be 90 degrees to our rope. What we'll do is form a bite and place it behind our rope. Now we have an upper and lower loop. The rope that is towards us, we're going to place it through the lower loop. And with this loop, we're going to throw it on top and over the upper loop. Now we'll pull everything tight. And what this does is give you a loop that is 90 degrees from the line. Okay, now that you know how this is tied, let's form it down below. All right, so let's form our bite. We'll go behind the upper loop. Down below, we'll thread through and then go on top and over. There we go, and pull everything tight. Now we'll thread our toggle line through, and we are set up to do this from a farther distance. Now that you have an idea of how this is tied, let's go get our keys from the storm drain. While this system gives you more control, it does require a loop line and a toggle line. So you'll need double the amount of rope. But what if you don't have that luxury and you just need to use a single line? 